Hello everyone! In today's demo, I'm going to show you how to set up the Kubernetes MCT server with uh, Visual Studio Code and use it in GitHub Copilot. So if you navigate to the GitHub uh, homepage of the Kubernetes MCT server, you can scroll down a little bit and you'll find a link to run the to install the server in VS Code. So since a couple of weeks ago, you can actually run MCP servers uh, with VS Code, and now it's very simple to install the Kubernetes MCP server. So we are going to click here. We are going to open the link, and we'll see how the VS Code automatically opens and shows us several options to do with the server. In this case, we are going to install it. Basically, this is going to open the settings uh, JSON for VS Code and add a new entry with the Kubernetes MCP server. In this case, it's using the npx command and the Kubernetes MCP server. Um, you can actually access this uh, same screen by going to Preferences, uh, Settings, we type MCP here, and uh, Model Context Protocol Server Configurations, Edit in Settings JSON, and you'll actually see the same thing that uh, the link created for us automatically. So now let's try to use this with uh, GitHub Copilot. So yeah, one of the important or most important things here is to switch from the standard ask mode to agent mode and we'll automatically see that uh, it can actually uh, list the tools of the MCP servers that uh, we have set up in, in VS Code. So in this case, the MCP server for Kubernetes and all of the tools that this server provides. Um, uh, so I'm going to do a very quick test. So at least the pods in my cluster. It's going to ask permission for each uh, function that it's going to execute. So you can add uh, a permanent uh, permission to always allow, always allow in this session or always allow uh, in the given um, workspace. So I'm going to continue. So this has listed the pods in my cluster uh, and has sorted them by uh, namespace. So if I go into check my cluster, I can basically see that uh, all of the pods that I have running have been listed uh, here, right? Um, yeah, so other things that you might uh, want to take into account when dealing with MCP servers in VS Code is that uh, it actually uh, caches the, the tools. So if you actually update the, the MCP server or you install a new version or whatever, you probably want to restart it, which will automatically reload the cached tools, in this case, uh, 17 tools, or maybe stop it or start it again. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty simple to get started with the Kubernetes MCP server and VS Code. And it would be great if you could uh, use it and share your feedback. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demo.